Oh yeah, here we go into video two of integrating and differentiating power series. In this particular video, we're going to go over one very cool problem that shows you that what we can use power series for is to integrate or approximate values of integrals that we, to this point, were unable to integrate by hand. So what you have here is an instruction that says use a Maclaurin series with as few terms as possible Ooh. to approximate the following definite integral to within 0 0.01 of its exact value. Oh my word. How are we going to accomplish that feat? Well, we'll see how to do that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a Maclaurin series for e to the minus x squared. Let's build that because right now we can't integrate that by hand, right? Not yet, not without multivariable calculus. So up to this point, we couldn't do it. But our calculators could. And this function is continuous, so we can integrate it, and it has area beneath it. So how do our calculators do it? How can we get in a good approximation? Well, you take e to the x. You start with that Maclaurin series. And that's 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus dot, dot, dot. And it keeps on going on and on and on, x to the n over n factorial plus dot, dot, dot. Now, from here, what our job is, is to then insert minus x squared into it. We're going to create a polynomial that represents e to the minus x squared. So e to the minus x squared would be equal to 1 plus minus x squared, plugging in a minus x squared everywhere there's an x. Minus x squared squared is x to the fourth. I am going to simplify here, even though I've advised not to do that on the BC exam, unless you need to do more work with this um, thing that we're putting together, which we do here. We're going to be integrating it. Minus x squared cubed, minus cubed is a minus, x to the sixth all over 3 factorial, plus, and so on and so forth. You're getting an alternating series here where we get minus 1 to the n, n is 0 is what we're starting with, times x to the 2n all over n factorial. So that's our pattern right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to integrate that and evaluate it like normal. So then the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the minus x squared dx is approximately, well, let's find this. It's going to be the integral of this, which is x minus, integrate this like normal, x cubed over 3 factorial. Sorry, not over 3 factorial, just over 3. We're integrating it like normal, of course, plus x to the fifth over 5 times 2 factorial minus, and this will be x to the seventh over 7 times 3 factorial, literally just integrating it like normal. Those factorials are constants. You don't need to do anything to the nth term at all. And now we're going to just evaluate this from 0 to 1. What you're going to get is a series that goes on and on and on. We want to notice first that, do you see how these things alternate in sign? So we're going to be able to use the alternating series test to determine just how far out we need to go. Um, we need to use or figure out what the, when the first ignored term is less than 0 0.01. So we might even have to go out further than this. Let's see. So I plug in 1, just like we do in the fundamental theorem. That's 1 minus 1 cubed over 3 is 1 third, plus 1 to the fifth is 1. Over 5 times 2, I am going to simplify this as 1 tenth, minus 1 over 7 times, this is 3 factorial 6. So that's 1 42nd. Now, since this is an alternating series, oh, and I should say, and it, it keeps on going and going and going, the next term, by the way, is x to the ninth, right? We have this right here, over 9 times 4 factorial, just looking at the pattern of what's going over here. If you don't see that, the next term here would have been plus x to the eighth over 4 factorial, right? Just plugging in minus x squared into all this, because this would have been x to the fourth over 4 factorial. So that's where I'm getting this from. Integrating this is x to the ninth over 9 times 4 factorial, plus we'll do one more term because this term is not quite less than 0 0.01. So if we want to be within 0 0.01, we need a term to be less than that. And that will tell us that that's our first ignored term. OK, so looking at this then, that would be 1 to the ninth is 1, all over 9 times 24. That's our ticket right there. 9 times 24 is 180 and 36 is 2. 16. So that's going to be uh, our next value that we get there. Plus, and then I guess it would be minus dot, 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 following suit in terms of how this thing is going. And then all of that is just minus 0, because when you plug 0 into everything, you get 0. 
So how do we know that our approximation is going to be 1 minus 1 third plus 1 tenth minus 1 42nd? And I'm going to leave my answer like that because, and here's how I'll justify it, and I'll just do this out loud. This is an alternating series with terms that decrease in absolute value to zero, so it converges. That means that the error is at most the first ignored term. If we want to use as few terms as possible, the first ignored term that has a, a, a value of less than 0.01 is 1 216th, which means to have the fewest terms and be within 1 216th, we would need to use 1, 2, 3, those first four terms. That makes that a difficult problem. Most problems you're going to be asked for in tests, they're going to tell you how many terms to use to approximate. I bumped this level up in terms of difficulty in case you're given something like that. So essentially, you go out as far as you can, as far as you want to, maybe needing to extend more terms at the end, plug in your values like you would with the first fundamental theorem of calculus, and the first term you get that is under the error that you're asked to find to, that's your first ignored term, everything before it becomes your answer. It's very cool. All right, I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be awesome. Peace.